Everybody's heard of, how many people have heard of business model canvas? Oh, so business model canvas is very, uh, very popular way of thinking about your business plan in entrepreneurial uh, circles now. So we have a business model canvas too. We call it Expire Business Model Canvas. It's uh, similar to other business model canvases except uh, customized based on our experience in Southeast Asia. Um, if you can see the business model canvas actually is very similar to the key elements for success that we talked about in the business plan So uh, in the previous slide. So you can see we have the customer problem. So in the business model canvas, we always start with what is the customer problem? Again, you can see the um, consistency with our elements for success of the business to start with what are the top one to three customer problems uh, that we attempt to solve. Then we look at the existing solutions. So how are these problems solved today? The one to three problems that we list here. Then we look at our solution. So what is our solution to the customer problem? Then we look at our uh, key metrics. So how will we know if we are succeeding to solve the customer problem once we launch the business. Then we look at the, uh, what we call value proposition innovation. So what is innovative value solution and why are you better than existing solutions? We add in uh, what I call here the high concept. So high concept that means a, a single sentence that says it all about your business. So one sentence, describe what you do. Um, this sentence should be uh, not a run-on sentence, not linking a lot of sentences together. Just a simple sentence, what do you do? If you have a really good idea, you will be able to state it in a single sentence. If you can't state your idea in a single sentence, it's, it's probably not as good as it could be. So one of the things we do when we work on the business plan is to help you summarize your idea in one sentence. Like, I'll, I'll give you some examples. Uh, you tell me what business this is. Let's, the, there's a concept behind the business. The business has been around for a long time. But imagine this business when it's first starting up. So the, the high concept is, let's sell books on the internet. I mean, immediately you know everything that you need to know about this idea. If you think about that idea circa 1995, when the business idea is being formulated, you know it's brilliant right away. You know exactly what's the problem, what's the solution, why is it going to be big. So think about that. Then we talk about our sustainable competitive advantage. So how will we, uh, we went through this in the previous slide, uh, channels. So how do we get the product to customers? something we're going to go into in a little more detail later, but often neglected by the um, entrepreneurs and especially uh, tech on, high tech entrepreneurs or research entrepreneurs, don't, they don't think enough about channels, meaning how to get the product to customers. I'll talk about that more in detail later. Customer segments. So who are our target customer? How big is our market and how fast is it growing? And customer archetype meaning characteristics of our key customers, so really understanding our customers in detail. So just FYI, um, you're welcome to take photos of the slides. You can take photos of one, you know, two, or all slides. You can also send me or Casper an email after the workshop, and we will send you all the slides. So I'm okay either way. Photos. <laughs> One copy, want to take photos and copy, it's all of them. Okay, so, but I don't want you to feel like, oh, I you know, must take photos because I can never get a copy of the slides. Actually, we're we'll happy to send all of you. Okay, uh, class drivers. So what are our key uh, drivers of class in this business? And revenue model, how do we generate revenue? So if you think about it, I mean, very, uh, there's a very clear correspondence between this business model canvas and our key elements for success, they're almost all the same. How do we use these together? How do we use the 
do the final canvas together with the business plan. Because one mistake I think some people make when they think about business model canvas is they believe that business model canvas replaces a uh, business plan, which is, I don't think is correct. Uh, I view the business model canvas is a uh, uh, very valuable and important addition to the business plan. So what's nice about business model canvas is we <coughs> see everything on one page. What's uh, not, not so nice about the business model canvas is we can only uh, see everything at a very high level of detail, so very little detail. In the business plan, we go into everything in detail. Now, the other good thing about business model canvas is uh, the way that it's normally used is it evolves. We do a business model canvas, and then we uh, develop the early version of the product. We learn more, and we change the business model canvas. So ultimately, we have many different business model canvas. And a lot of people that are proponents of business model canvas will contrast this with um, with the business plan, which they believe is static, but this is not the case. Business plans are not static either. Business plans evolve over time. So although you write a business plan once, you're gonna write it again and again and again as the business evolves. So business plan and business model can.